Take two. Do you have trouble threading your tippet through the little teeny tiny hole in small flies? And have you used cheaters to help you out? Well, I've got a different version of cheaters that I'm going to test out today to see if they're as good or better than regular cheaters that flip down over your glasses. I was browsing around Harbor Freight the other day and I saw these jeweler's eye loop which has two different levels of magnification for under two bucks. Whoa! Light bulb goes on. Could this be an easier, more convenient way to magnify that little hole on flies to get the tippet through there? Well, I'm going to test it out today and see if it's a viable solution because it's it'll be nice having two different levels of magnification instead of the single level you get when you flip a set of cheaters down. And I'm wondering whether these will be more comfortable to wear. Let me outrig my glasses and we'll give them a test. The way these work is you have a little clip here and you clip that on your glasses and it puts the two loops right in front of your lens. And then to use them, you basically just hit this lever on the back and you move it up and down. Now I can see one problem right away, which is that this clip is not really all that strong. So I think if I were gonna use this in the field, I would put a cable tie around here on this side to really hold this on my glasses. <clears throat> so now let's check out the magnification ability. Granted, I'm not gonna need this for my favorite fly like this one right here, but for these little size 18 and 20s, I hope this is going to be an advantage. I've got these on. I put the cable tie in right there to hold it on. And the first thing I notice is that it's comfortable to leave them out to the side because if you leave them up, they will interfere with your hat. So now let's rotate one over and let me see if I can see the hole to thread this particular fly. Oh yeah, that's huge magnification right there. And if I roll up the other one, <laughs> I can get it right up next to my face and see that exactly. Well, I think this is, has enough merit to where I need to go up in the attic, get some tippet out of my fly vest, and we'll see how that goes. Fly tippet. Let's get it in, underway. So I'm going to rotate the first one in. I put it right in front of my bifocals. And now I'm going to put this up right close to it and see how easy it is and whoa I was able to get this threaded in there instantly I think this is gonna be a real advantage so now the last test is to verify that the cable tie actually solves the problem of this thing coming off because when this is out to the side over there that's not gonna bother me and it's easy enough to poke this one in pull it out I don't really need double magnification According to the documentation, that gets it up to 16 times. This, this one is good enough for me. Okay, let's shake this sucker and see if we can get it to come off. I think this is pretty rough handling. You're not going to be doing this unless you're falling out a cliff. And it's holding on there pretty good. So, my bottom line on this is I think this is going to be a winner. You know, you just pop it on there, put the cable tie on, and then when you need it, just rotate the appropriate lens in front of your eyeball, and boy, you've got instant clarity on where that small little hole is on the smallest flies. I'm going to give this a Harbor Freight thumbs up. What's y'all's perspective? Throw it down below. Thanks.